Hello, my stamping friends. It's Margaret with uh, Margaret Stamping Studio, and I'm here today for another class in the flash. It's uh, November, November, oh my gosh, it's December 13th, and um, today I am going to feature the Cup of Tea stamp set, the dies, and oh my goodness, the tea bouquet designer paper. I'm gonna have to, I just need to show this to you real quick. All the different patterns. There's teacups, teapots, florals, lemons. I love that. This one too. Teacups. This is one of my favorite pieces also. Purple and green together are, are one of my favorites. And I like this paper actually coordinates with several different stamp sets, even though it's it's featured as the as part of the tea bouquet or cup of tea bundle. And then the reverse side is all these awesome, subtle, not so subtle prints. So these are great for any anything, anything really. So that's the designer paper. I'm also going to um, use the mini pocket envelope to create that and then some of the dies we're, I'm gonna feature. And this is a standalone die set. It's um, the mini pocket. This creates a super cute bow. There's a couple labels. Um, this is a little pull tab. This makes um, either a slot or a hole for a tag. Um, the leaves and a little a little tag. So it's it's a really cute set. It's um, very versatile. And so with my class in the flash, when you um, place a $35 order using this host code, you'll get the supplies to make these cards um, free. I'll send them to you as a gift. And actually you get the supplies to make two of each, even the little pouch. Um, it does not include stamped images, inks, or in this case, I actually have a little tea bag in here. I will not be sending tea. Um, and you'll see you do have to fold the, the little tea bag up a little bit to put in there. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't think I have. This was like the only tea bag I had in the house. So <laughs> luckily I got it to fit in there. But this is actually super cute. So there's even a little... Uh, tag in there for a note. Um, we're doing a slimline card, which I rarely do. I don't know why. I, I just don't think of it. I'm always do the standard cards, but there's that. Um, so there's that. Also, if you place a fifty dollar order, you'll also get the um, the matte decorative dots, and these are featuring the twenty two twenty twenty two to twenty twenty four in colors. Um, which are gorgeous. And this uh, this suite does feature those colors along with Fresh Freesia and some um, Blushing Bride. So it's really pretty. All right, well, let's get started because, you know, that's the fun part. We will start with the um, Fresh Freesia card. Now on this card, like I said, I love this paper and I wanted to recreate um, that paper on my mugs or cups. They're teacups, not mugs. And let's see, with this you'll get um, the designer paper, you'll get the blank die cut pieces, you'll have your matting pieces, and your card base. And I will send you extra little um, tea bag tag labels because those are tiny. And um, if you're like me, you'll, you'll probably need a spare or two <laughs> for mistakes. But I'm going to start with the um, Two of these teacups, and let's get, oh, I'm using, oh, I'm not using that die, the stamp. Um, originally, I was going to use the stamped image, and I changed my mind. I decided to recreate it, so we're going to use the leaves and the flowers. Now, this could be used on anything. It could um, use it to border edge a greeting. There's so many different things we could do with that. And if I'm not mistaken, there are dies that um, cut these out. I'll have to get that out in a minute. All right, so I'm using Garden Green, because there is Garden Green in the paper. And I'm just stamping along the bottom of the cup. We'll 
do that on both. set that aside. Next we're going to need the Fresh Freesia ink. Now what I'm going to do, because I like how the, um, the paper has a little bit of that um, Orchid Oasis um, highlighted in the flower center, so I'm going to recreate that by bringing in my marker. And since I'm not quite sure which flowers I'm actually going to end up on the project, I am going to just kind of dab some uh, color around the centers here. And at the base of those petals. Now we'll get this in here so that it's nice and tight. There we go. So we've got that one. I don't want that um, Island Indigo to transfer to my ink pad, so I'm just stamping off some of the extra color right there. And let's do the same for this one. That looks about right. get that out of the way. Now, um, you'll notice that this is kind of a little blurry um, there with that island. Um, I keep wanting to call it Island Indigo. I have no idea why. Um, Orchid Oasis. So I'm actually taking the fine tip part and I am going over the centers a little bit more just to give it a little more color definition. And to me that looks a lot um, Giving it the solid definition with a little bit of the blurred uh, lines gives it just the right look. Okay. And now I'm going to take my, um, I think this is, yep, pear pizzazz, and I'm going to color in. Probably could have used the parakeet party, but this is what I grabbed. Any lighter green will work beautifully. And I'm coloring in these other leaves. I'm not being perfect because art rarely is. I mean, of course, you don't want it to be a hot mess, but, you know, a little bit out of the lines is no big deal. And a little extra white inside the, the image is, is actually quite um, aesthetically pleasing. So, Never worry about it not being quite perfect. There. Alright, now for these little itty bitty tags. And I'm actually going to pull in this paper. The Orchid Oasis. Just so I have... Um, my eyes are needing a little extra help some days. So I'm going to put my little, um, little tea bag labels, holders, whatever you call those, <laughs> on the Orchid Oasis, just to help me see where I'm going a little better. I found that that really helps um, when I'm stamping on a white image. So go ahead and put that down. Hopefully it's perfect. Perfect enough. It says, I just can't thank you enough. And I think, yep, that one's better. That one, actually, I'm having a hard time reading it. It looks a little, a little fuzzy for some reason. So let me just do another one. And that is one of the reasons why you'll be ha having a couple extra of these in your kit. You can also just stamp something like a little flower on it. Um, it doesn't have to be the tiny little greeting. Oop. Got my ink, my finger right in the ink pad. All right. Next, what we'll do is 
those other ink pads so I don't keep getting them, making a mess. And let's do our labeling. Or layering, not labeling. Okay, so this, I've got a piece of white here. And we're going to go ahead and put our papers down. This is one of my favorite card layouts. It's so easy. You can use up your scraps. And it's always cute. You can use it for pretty much any occasion. So what I do is I put the, the top one at the very top. You don't leave a border with this. And then I place the bottom strip of designer paper. And then I place these two down and kind of, um, I try to evenly space them. And then I go back and glue them. I am not, again, I don't worry about it being perfect. I do try to make sure they're straight, but as far as the, um, the exact width behind between them, I don't really worry too much about that. Okay, next we're going to just adhere this. This is Starry Sky, another one of the um, 22, 24 in colors. And we put it down to the Orchid Oasis. And now we've got our card base is Fresh Freesia. Oh, excuse my arm. And that's just going to glue adhered flat to this as well. I'm using very few dimensionals on this card. All right, next I am going to um, glue. No, that's, I don't want to glue that down yet. We need our little um, tea bags on the, their strings. I thought that was just a fun, cute little extra touch. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting two little pieces, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half, of um, our linen thread. And I'm grabbing some mini dimensionals. Putting that thread, just laying that there and sandwiching it with the mini dimensional. And that's going to stick it on. It's not really going to be played with, so you don't really need to worry that it's like super glued or anything. Alright, next I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive. Remove the backing, and I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to glue the other tail end to the back side of the teacup. Now I like to have mine kind of uh, a nice little swoop, just to make sure, you know, so they really see it. <laughs> I have it really sticking up there. All right, next let me add a little more stamp and seal. And we're going to here, this one flush to the right side with the handle overhanging the matted pieces. Now, here we go, we'll do the same for our other cup. Now, one thing I noticed um, on my original, I put it kind of close to the bottom of, of this uh, freesia layer. And to me, it, it was too close to the edge, so I wanted to make sure that I, I left it up there so it does look like it's sitting on the air instead of um, just kind of floating in space. Yeah, we'll get some stamp and seal there. Glue our little T 
tea bag. Hold. I need to find out what that little tea bag label holder is. I know you use it to keep your hands dry and pull the tea bag out of the water, but what do they really call it? I have no idea. One of those things I never really thought about till now. Okay, so there we go. We've got the second one down. Now I'm going to add some um, some of the dots. Now you'll notice these dots are so pretty. They um, this the far left is the true color, and then they have them. Um, um, they're monochromatic, so they go down in an ombre effect. So. Um, they're all beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and use this, these lighter ones. Oh, come on, stick to my... Oh, I'm running low on goop in there. There we go. Put a big one down there. Sometimes I use two big ones and a little one. Sometimes one big and one little. So to get more of the tack out, you just uh, you just unscrew it a little bit, and some more of the tack will come out. Let's see. So I've got one there. Put this one up over here, and I'll put this little baby one. It's upside down. There we go. Got it. Oh, no. The adhesive actually stayed on the, um, the backing piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully place that down right there. That's This little pokey comes in real handy for that. And we'll pick it up and put it on there. Voila. No wasted... Bling. I love my bling. <laughs> so anyway, a little trip for, tip for the day. All right, so there is our first project. Super cute. I love this one. I hope you like that one too. Um, the next one, we will make um, the slimline card. And I just realized I don't have my, um, my stamp cleaner. So let me pause this real quick and get that because that is crucial for this. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so for this one, you're going to need um, several different colors of ink. I'm using the Fresh Freesia, the Orchid Oasis again. I love these colors. Oh my goodness. Um, the Parakeet Cardi, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. All of those, except for the Freesia, are part of the 22-24 um, in colors. And they are just lovely. We're also using the Fresh Freesia uh, ribbon. And this little tag label comes from the, um, from the uh, little mini envelopes. Or, yeah, mini pocket envelope set. You're also going to need some post-it notes. Yeah, this one is very easy and we're going to start with our white base Move this over here you know i'm going to go ahead and open these ink pads just real quick and this one i'm only using two stamps and i love this striped teacup stamp. I think it's so cute. All right, so we've got this here, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our first color, which is the Orchid Oasis, and we're going to stamp this about not quite a half inch, but more than a quarter of an inch from the bottom, and I like to do these at a jaunty little angle. So I'm going to stamp that, and I stamp off my extra, 
And then I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Since we have to keep reusing these stamps, that's why I have, you actually have to have some sort of stamp cleaner with you. Next, this is where our post-it note comes in. We're going to use this to mask. And we're going to re-ink this with Sweet Sorbet. Another jaunty little angle. Nice squeaky clean. Um, again, I I did the jaunty little angle. You want to make sure that you have part of the bottom of the teacup um, below your line, and that helps create the illusion that they're stacked in each other. Okay, so I'll do that. See how it looks like it's it's resting inside that mug. Wouldn't those be great for a patriotic card? Okay. All right, next we've got our Tahitian Tide. Love this turquoise, it's so pretty. There we go. See, beautiful color. with our parakeet party. And you can see there's, I really don't have a real rhyme or reason or exact placement. Um, you just kind of work your way up and, um, and just have fun with it. One more with the fresh freesia. And I'm going to put this one up a little bit higher just because I don't want so much white space up there. And there. Look at that. <laughs> so pretty. And it's it's such an easy masking technique. Now you can you could do this with butterflies. Um, we do have um, masking paper where you can actually stamp your image and, and uh, on it and then hand cut it or if we have a die um, cut that image out so it's um, so it's it's cut perfectly and then you can use that to mask um, I just thought this has a nice straight edge so I just went with a post-it note because it was handy and easy and that, that's what I like like things to be nice and easy for me. Oh, I shouldn't have closed this one up yet. Let's go ahead and stamp Take Care of Yourself on this little um, scalloped rectangle here. Looks pretty good. Yes. Okay. Now we'll close that up though. Sometimes my cat, actually all the time, my cat likes to be in here and help me. So I do find little hairs on my ink pad sometimes and that drives me bonkers. So excuse me, I had to get that off real quick before I forgot and ended up with a Island Indigo Eddy hair floating around the room. <laughs> Now, for this again is so easy. We're just adhering this with our stamp and seal. Like so. Now we'll take our parakeet party card base. Isn't this just such a fun color? And we do have um slimline envelopes, which you will be getting. Now, I don't know if you can see this on my card. Um, when I scored this one, I scored um, 
at, I think it was three and a half instead of three and a quarter. So I ended up scoring um, every quarter of an inch and made it a design element on this card. But um, that was just uh, a happy mistake. You know, sometimes I didn't want to waste my whole sheet of parakeet party. So I'm like, well, might as well. And you can, you can barely tell. It's just, you can just see it there and there. And then of course, when you open it, but it is cute. So if you ever miss score your cutting line, just make it part of your element. Make it a design feature. No one will know that you made a mistake. All right, next, we're just gonna glue this on the front. All right, we'll get a little piece of this beautiful freesia ribbon. And what I did here, I just took maybe, I don't know, it's probably only like two and a half inches. It's not very much ribbon. Angle, angle cut it. Sometimes my beads get in the way, but they're pretty. Just fold that in half, stick it in that snail that I just put down that I didn't tell you what I was doing, but I did, <laughs> well, I called it snail. That's our old adhesive, our stamp and seal. It looks weird. There, that's better. I don't want weird looking ribbon. All right, next we'll just re-secure that a little bit more with dimensionals and put those all over the label. Now this is the fun part. You can decide where you want your label. I ended up going, um, originally I was putting it down here and then I decided I liked it up high better. So that's where I ended it, ended up putting it. But you can put your label wherever you want. Let's say you made a little mistake that's where you put your label. So this one, I am gonna put this one down here. Just, why not? Because I can. And then we're gonna take some more of these dots and I think I'm gonna go with these ones. Oh, maybe I should make it real fun. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with this little light green here. And then let's go with the pink one up there. I don't really care for the placement of those. That might be too late. Yep, it's too late. It's down. That's okay, because like I said, who's going to know? They're just going to think it's cute. <laughs> so there you go. Do what I did here. Nice and evenly spaced. <laughs> Not twink, twink, twink. <laughs> anyway, so that there's our slim line card, which I think is adorable. All right, now let's move ahead to our little tea pocket. This is just perfect. Unfortunately, you know, we are in, in the winter time and this is when people are starting to get all the cruds and everything. So I thought this was perfect. And um, same with the, the take care of yourself. This is a perfect little thinking of you, hope you're feeling better type of card. So um, up here, here's my pieces. So what you'll get for this is, um, you'll get the two little lemon pieces that you'll need to glue those together. Uh, the white tag insert, um, the die cut envelope. You're not gonna get this whole piece, but I'll show you what you will get. And just so you know where it came from, I thought that this little tag needed a little something and I'm like, well, hey, that's the perfect piece. So this will explain why it's so wonky looking. 
it's actually that little scrap from down there that I was just going to throw away anyway. Because what I do with pieces like that, I trim off the excess and then I put it with my scraps. And this just gets thrown out. So, we'll go ahead, we'll do this little tag first. I'm using um, just the Island Orchid Oasis. And um, I'm using Crushed Curry Ink. open these up. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at what I just did. Oh no. That's a mess. <laughs> so who all can relate to me on that mistake? Got my trusty little little cloth here. Thank goodness I needed that. Glad I had that handy. All right, so hopefully I won't get um, Orchid Oasis ink all over everything. So the reverse side of this paper is the red. So um, when you get this kit, you'll have two different patterns of paper. And that's just um, because I wouldn't have enough to give everyone the two of the same. So. Um, trust me, they will be very cute, though, so you don't need to worry about that. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stamp this lemon in the lower right corner. And then I'm going to stamp Enjoy with the Orchid Oasis. And I kind of liked it overlapping the, the lemon just a little bit. I thought that was kind of cute. And then I am going to take stamp and seal. No, this stuff all over the place. I'm sure you don't want to see my mess. I don't even want to see my mess. All right. Putting seal on that, and then I am... Um, just placing this on the top edge of this little tag or rectangle tiny little note card whatever you want to call it and then I'm trimming off the excess oh my gosh I still can't believe that's hysterical all right so that's the um our little our little note card is complete now here on um, on the pocket envelope itself, there actually are score lines. Um, I don't know if you can, I don't know which side you can see them better, but they they are there. And so I'm going to pre score those and burnish those. And I found the best adhesive for this is actually the Tombow Liquid Glue. I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with it. The trick is, is to just use a tiny little touch. If you have big globs of it, um, you're going to be in trouble. So what I do, I got it going there. I don't know if you can see, there's just a little glob there. And I'm kind of spreading it out. And as I'm spreading it out, I'm lightly squeezing in putting a little more adhesive on there, a little more glue. Okay, so I did that. Next, I'm just folding it back up like so, and I'm putting some pressure on it. I'm going to kind of let it sit and dry and let it, let it get a good hold, a hold of itself. And while that's kind of setting up a little bit, we'll go ahead and create the decorative label and the, the closure for it. So here is the real detailed piece. Again, the, the liquid glue is key. I just have a little bits on there. We're just gonna layer that right on top of each other. I could have stamped it and just cut it out, but I kind of I kind of liked the die cut. I thought it was cute. 
All right, and now with the um, Orchid Oasis. I'm never going to forget its name again. <laughs> Stamp, it's time for tea. And this label again came with a mini pocket envelope die. And we'll stamp that up at the upper upper half. I think I'm done with this. Okay, next. I'm going to use the Sweet Sorbet um, metallic ribbon. Now the Sweet Sorbet is a very soft muted shade of the Sweet Sorbet. Here, I'll get my stamped image out here. See the, the difference? Um, but it does match. If you look here, it's right on par. Um, I don't... I don't want to say I don't like it. It's beautiful. I love it. But to me, that's not quite the same. I don't know. So just when you order it, I want to make sure, you know, that you know that it's not the deep sorbet. It's one of the muted, um, muted tones of it. It is gorgeous. Now I'm going to cut, make this tiny little bow. Now when I was little... I loved Barbie clothes. I wanted to be a Barbie fashion designer. And boy, I'm glad I didn't make that my career choice because her clothes now are just awful. Um, <laughs> but anyway, my mom made me learn to sew because she could not keep up with my demand of clothes. I wanted a new outfit like every day for my dolls. And she's, you know, she's like, uh, no, I don't have time for that. So that's actually what started my crafting and, um, or one of my crafting as yeah, so I was pretty much all Barbie. I wanted uh, furniture and I wanted, you know, all the clothes and I wanted all this. Yeah. So I started making it and I am so glad that I did because it's fun. All this stuff is so fun. All right. So I think we are ready to go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to get my dimensionals out again. Where are my big ones? Here they are. One of these days I will learn a better system of keeping everything organized while I'm doing these videos. I appreciate you bearing with me and laughing with me because um, I'll only get better. All right, so what I did is I put two dimensionals on the lower half of this oval and that's so that um, the, the flap can stick under there um, to help it stay closed. That's kind of like its closure. So I'm going to stick that down. I want to make sure that's centered. Yep, that's good. And now I guess I do need my minis. I am so glad we have the mini dimensionals. I. I was forever cutting the dimensionals in half, and that's such a time saver now that I don't have to. Plus, they're cute. All right, so I'm using, I just used a one little mini glue dot on um, the left side of the lemon slice to hold it down, and then trusty glue dot. Now, since this bow is so tiny, I think I'm probably going to have to roll the glue dot if I can ever find one on here. Ah, here we go. And um, since the glue dot is going to be quite a bit bigger than the center of my of my bow, I'm going to fold it in half. Hope you could see what I did there. I think you could. I forgot to check the. Make sure I was in the video. Okay, so. Just to recap, so what I did is I just I used the um, poker end of my pickup tool and I folded that glue dot in half. And I did it a lot better the first time than that. That time was a hot mess. Uh, I hope the first time was in video because it went nice and smooth and it just folded right in half and it was lovely. Now we'll just put that little bow there, nice and easy. 
and that is done. Look how cute that is. I love that. So then you just slip your little little card in there. And when you have tea, just stick a little tea bag in there. And that is that. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you again for um, laughing with me. Abby, whichever. <laughs> I think they're one and the same most of the time. I hope you enjoyed this little class. Again, um, when you place an order, a $35 order, you'll get the supplies to make these. Um, you'll make six projects, two of each. Clean this up a little bit. So you'll make the two little tea bag holders, the two slimline cards and the two um, thank you cards. Now remember, I um, it's against Stampin' Up! policy to provide stamped images, so you will need to provide your own stamps and ink, um, but these can easily, easily be done with other stamps. So, um, you know, don't let that deter you if you're not sure about the stamp set. Um, and when you do create with something else, I'd love to see it. So, you know, shoot me an, an email or a message on Facebook um, with the $35, you get the kit. A $50 order, you also get a new pack. I won't send you a partial. <laughs> You'll get a new pack of these dots. And um, also, Stampin' Up! just announced that Thursday the 15th is free shipping day. I will warn you that right now, um, shipping is really backed up. So, um, it's taking about seven days for it to leave Stampin' Up! And I'm sure it's going to get... A, with a big promo like that, it's it's going to stay like that probably for a while. So just, you know, be aware that, you know, it's going to take a while to get it, but it's so worth it. So anyway, thanks so much for stamping with me, and I hope to stamp with you again soon. Bye!